David? Yeah, that could be uh, kind of the big deal. Wet roads, a little bit of ponding. We're not going to see any major flooding. We're talking about a half an inch to an inch of rain widespread locally. We'll see some higher amounts, but you can see how light and scattered it is, and that's what we're going to see through the overnight. Now, notice we do have some heavier rain back toward Fayetteville. No lightning with this at all. This is all a rain event, and you're going to see that continuing. A little bit of clearing. It's going to be brief. You're not going to see that uh, all night. You will see more rain moving in through the overnight, uh, but take a look. Uh, we've seen uh, where we had this big swath of rain moving up more than a half an inch of rain. Uh, so far, a lot of folks have had a quarter of an inch, a little over a tenth of an inch, but we are going to see those amounts adding up as we move through the overnight. Future scan showing a little bit of a heavier or a shift in our direction where we did have the rain coming pretty much out of the south. Now we're seeing more of a westerly direction as that low begins to work its way to the south of the Tennessee Valley. So here it is on a more expanded view, and you can see this front. Everything's pushing to the east, and that is going to continue through the overnight overnight periods of heavy rain. Most of the time it'll be that light rain that we've been seeing and uh, that's going to last till about six, seven in the morning. And then after that, it's going to be cool and it is going to be somewhat uh, windy through the day tomorrow. Uh, winds have been uh, kicking somewhat tonight. I think they'll be stronger tomorrow, but we've had gusts today in excess of 30 miles per hour. Right now our temperature is in the 50s. Winds out of the north at 11 miles per hour. Uh, made it up to 70 for our high today, 56 the low this morning. So it was pretty warm one before the rains came. Our sky watchers checking into the upper 60s and low 70s. 77 though in 10 mile, my goodness. Well, Saturday again after 7 o'clock, we'll see the rain tapering off, only warming to a high of 61, and we will see a little bit of clearing, but the big deal with that cooler air is going to be winds out of the north, about 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusts above 30 miles per hour. It's going to be blustery tomorrow afternoon, guys.